Testing the light, testing the light. I'm back to my normal lighting, yay! Hello and welcome once again to my channel. This is Joan of Art and I have a request from one of my avid viewers to discuss the do's and don'ts while annulment case is ongoing. So, Hohanna, I have summarized it into six points. First, do whatever that makes you happy. And don't make others unhappy while you're being happy. Get it? Uh, let me explain the first one. Do whatever makes you happy. For example, if what makes you happy is love, if in the process you have fallen in love with someone else, just be discreet. Fall in love, but don't tell the courts about it. One of the probable questions that may be propounded to you when you're in court is that, are you remarrying? The best answer is maybe just say no. Just say no. Not for now. Number two, do forgive, but don't forgive on paper. What I mean by this is forgive. Forgive all the people who have offended you, especially your future ex-husband, future ex-in-laws, and other people who, uh, a third party, other people who might have offended you. Just let go. Let go. Forgive. It's healing to your heart. But don't forgive on paper. It would be understood by the court as reconciliation. It might dismiss the case. So just don't do it on paper. Don't sign anything or don't inform the court that you have reconciled. Do become a better person. That's the sweetest revenge. And don't be a bitter person. Don't take it on anyone. Don't take it especially on yourself. If you have children, they need you to be strong for them. Save and earn extra income. Why? Very practical. You're paying for your annulment process. It's very rare to find a Filipino ex-husband who would support their children even during the separation. Don't scrimp. Hey, if you have money, go get the massage. Pamper yourself once in a while. Don't overdo when it comes to loaning money. But don't pile up too many debts and then you can't recover anymore. Just be financially wise. Inspire your children and the others of your story. Your story is something that others can learn from. Ours here in the Philippines is a society where shaming is the name of the game. But now it's time to speak out. I am here to be that voice of women who are silenced by shame. Do not dwell on drama. You know, the Philippines, whenever you turn on the TV, it's full of telenovelas and movies. And if you just listen to the script, it's poorly researched, especially when it tackles about the normal. Oh my gosh. Attend your hearings. You are required to attend at least once for you to testify. And if you work abroad, if you're an OFW, you have to schedule your trip when your case is scheduled and uh, let your lawyer uh, schedule the rest. Don't give up and don't listen to others. Always listen to your heart. Always listen to that voice within you. And don't give up. Don't give up. Keep up the fight. Hope you have some takeaways in today's discussion. The do's and don'ts while your annulment case is going on. Do leave your comments on the comments box and subscribe so that you keep updated. There is always life and love at the end of a loveless and lifeless marriage. You only have to believe.